Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the analysis of this channel. I want to continue appreciating you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. If it was not you, we could have not reached this milestone that we are today. Congratulations to all of us. Now, Mr. Kinudia Pius, who is a close ally to Raila Odinga, through his tweet, he has come out very elaborate and giving us secret that is going to happen in terms to after William Samuruto is going to be sworn in on Tuesday 13th September 2022 and this is what uh, William Ruto uh, and this is what Mr. Kenudia Pius has revealed to Kenyans according to the plan that is underway. By the way before we read this tweet I'm requesting you with a humble heart if you are a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel, please just do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much because of great support, great love, great commitment towards supporting the work of this channel. Now, let us read the tweet of Mr. Kinudia Pius regarding to what is going to happen after William Samurto is going to be sworn in Tuesday the 13th September 2022. Now this is whatever tweet is saying. William Ruto is considering appointing two CAS per ministry to accommodate the so many people in Kenya Kwanzaa in need of government jobs. I think in terms to what we should expect is not according to the revelation that Pius, Mr. Pius Kinudia is coming out with, with. Because I remember very well, uh, literally in terms to whatever William Samuelto believed in, he fought this issue of BBI so much. And so-called main issue, why William Samuelto fought this BBI was that there were certain individuals that were creating seats in the government. Number two, I remember very well William Samuruto sending his certain court lawyers to court to challenge these called CAS, CASs that Uru Kenyatta appointed. In fact, in terms to court ruling, it was said that these CAS are occupying offices not in accordance to the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. So according to William Ruto now to consider appointing two CAS per ministry, I think this is going to be against his uh, fight that he fought this issue of BBI. I don't expect William Ruto to appoint two CSS per ministry. It means that, in fact, when it comes to consideration, it has been believed that Kenyans, uh, Kenyans' taxes or revenue are the, the biggest percentage that is being spent is being spent on the salaries of these public officers. So to me, the reason why I should not support this is because one, the biggest percentage of revenue or the, the bigger percentage of uh, resources is being moved to this salary of member of parliament, senators, member of uh, national assembly, senators, president, deputy president, cabinet secretaries, certain parastatals and all those forth and on like that. But I want to say it very clear. William Samurto himself came out to defend that the constitution doesn't require that we have CSS, even one. So for him to come again to add one, another one to come to, it means that William Ruto was lying to Kenyans live alive. Because the expectation is William Samurto to uh, get rid of CSS according to the way he sent certain lawyers to, de, uh, to, to, 
to challenge the decision of Uhuru Kenyatta to bring this CSS, then for him to add another CS to come to and be appointed to one ministry is going against his uh, uh, agenda and ideology. So ladies and gentlemen, we are having se several cabinets, uh, ministries. We are having treasury, we are having education, we are having um, health, we are having foreign affairs, we are having interior. Imagine, for example, just take um, treasury, interior, foreign affairs, education and health. Those are five ministries. Then, in this, every one ministry you have CASS, two CASS. It means just only five CSS, we are having uh, 10 of them. Imagine 20 of ministries. We are going to have uh, 40. Imagine, we are go not 40, 40, yes. Imagine we are going to have 40 CSS being paid, yes, by, uh, with Kenyan tax money so-called that people in Kenya Kwanzaa in need of government jobs. That is why I have said, and I rang alarm the other day, those failures that are joining Kenya Kwanzaa lands with an aim that they're going to be rewarded with certain called jobs, I want to say it very clear. They're wasting a lot of t their times. And they are going to be failed terribly. Why am I saying that? Initially, when they had decided to support certain side, for example, people like Kivuta Kibwana, Kiraitu Murungi, they could have understood what they were uh, standing for. For them to lose, I think they could have just concentrated remaining in Azimio. Now, huge crowd to come, people like James Ongwai of Kisi, to come with huge crowd demanding jobs in Ruto's government, I think this is just unfortunate because even people like Najib Balala has come out saying that they are willing to work with William Samaruto. Yes? The allies of William Samaruto has come out to defend themselves saying that no way those people who fought for Kenya Kwanzaa lands are the first priority. So for them, for this CSS, I think, in fact, those who supported Kenya Kwanzaa lands, in fact, there are many, more than even those who are joining. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you supporting the idea of creating every ministry to CSS? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.